Hey guys, how's it going? Producer engineer Alex Scott here with Concertdini.com coming at you with another super cool studio gear review. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we are out of the control room. We are in my tracking room and I am standing next to one of the most beautiful drum sets I've ever had the pleasure of owning or even playing. This is a set of PDP Classic Maple, or excuse me, Concept Maple Classic uh, drums. They are my main studio kit. This is my main studio kit. It's been used on literally hundreds and hundreds of records. It's been played by dozens of different drummers, namely by myself, um, but also a lot of guys, including I had Adam Deitch of Lettuce in here not too long ago on a session, Jeff Franca from Thievery Corporation. Um, they are really exquisitely high quality, great sounding drums. They're incredibly versatile. They can basically do everything. And that is what initially drew me to them and why I initially bought them for my studio. So we have a 22 inch kick drum, a 13 inch rack tom, and then over there is my 16 inch floor tom. Um, a couple things I love about these drums. First of all, as you can see, they've got wooden hoops. It's a really, really uncommon feature on any kit, especially a kit at this price point, um, which the shell pack, as I bought it, it was about 900 uh, all said and done. Um, and those were just for the drums, uh, no stands or pedals or, or anything like that. Um, and I really, really like shell packs because A, I have the hardware that I like and know really well, you know, in terms of pedals and hi-hat stand and all that kind of stuff. Um, but B, I know that the maximum amount of money from my purchase has gone into the quality of the drums themselves. None is being spent on superfluous uh, packaging or cheap pedals that I'm just going to get rid of anyways, that kind of stuff. It's every last dollar is going into the shells themselves. Um, so the kit features maple shells, uh, six or seven ply, something like that, uh, but they are very thin shells, which I really, really like. And uh, any drummers out there will know maple is a very rich, warm wood that's got great natural tonal balance. And these drums with their nice thin shells, which are DW made shells as well, you know, PDP is a subsidiary of DW. Um, they're great sounding drums. They really are. They're warm, they're punchy, um, and the wooden hoops on them gives them just a little bit more of that really organic kind of vintage vibe. Um, I use them on basically anything, about the only genre I've found that they don't do super well is like metal. And <laughs> you know, if you're playing metal, you're probably gonna have a dedicated kit that's um, a little bit more specifically set up to do that kind of a thing. But, you know, you can tune them high and get some kind of jazz and funk to tones out of them. Um, you can tune them lower, kind of medium, and then even lower for all manner of modern rock, classic rock, country, blues, um, I mean, really anything. They're just incredibly versatile, great sounding drums. Um, all of the components are really high quality, given that it is, you know, PDP is a subsidiary of DW. Um, it has the DW, um, you know, to the tighter thread on all of the lugs. Um, it's got really, really high quality um, lug mounts and, and the hardware and all that stuff. They just feel great, really, really robust. And lots of attention to detail has been paid um, to everything, you know, on these mounts for the wood hoops, these, these kind of clamps that, that hold them down and keep tension. You know, there's special rubber inserts on each and every one to make sure your wood hoops don't get scratched up. It's just the, the, the attention that they've gone to on these drums is really, really great. Um, the, the, another thing that I really love about them is that this, I actually still have the stock heads that came with them on the kit. And I have played lots of drum sets over the years. And this is the only kit, literally the only kit that I've ever bought where I did not need to immediately change the heads because the heads that it came with were junk. It comes with Remo dual ply kind of pinstripe style heads. Um, and it actually, they do have uh, coated heads on the bottom of the toms as well, which is really, really cool. Um, that's something I do uh, normally on other kits when I go to record them is I like to have the same kind of coated head on top and bottom because it helps with tuning and resonance and all kinds of stuff. Um, this comes set up out of the box like that. And the heads are awesome. I mean, they're real Remo pinstripe heads. Uh, and most kits come with super cheap, thin, flimsy, crummy sounding heads that you got to immediately go spend a bunch of money and change. Not so with these right out of the box. Tune them up. They sound phenomenal. So what I want to go ahead and do, we're going to move the camera a little bit closer, and I'm going to take my normal studio mic setup, which you can see I have uh, some Octavas, large diaphragms on the kick and the toms. I have a pair of Rode M5 pencil condensers on the snare drum, a pair of ABK 
uh, uh, large diaphragms on the overheads, and I do have some stereo surround mics out here, which are also Octava pencils. Um, I generally, when I'm recording, go for just a very open and natural drum sound. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to capture for you guys so you can, he you can hear the clearest representation of how the kit naturally sounds in a room. Uh, I will probably add a little bit of compression, but no reverb or EQing or anything like that. I'm just going to go to accurately represent um, as truly as I can the sound of these drums in the room because they really do sound incredible. So let's go ahead and move the camera over. I'll get everything mic'd up and recording and we can take a listen to the whole kit. Okay guys, so we've got our mics rolling. We're in front of our kit here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I've got the snares and my snare drum off. I'm just gonna play each tom and the kick separately and then a little bit all together so you can really hear the tone of the drums. Then I'll do a couple of fills and grooves, let you know how the kit sounds as a whole. Um, so I do have a little bit of muffling on the toms, a little bit of gaff tape on the rack tom and a ream O on the 16 inch floor tom just to control the resonance a little bit. Um, and then I'm using a felt beater on the kick drum, um, so nice and tight, but kind of mellow still there. Um, and, you know, it's still the stock heads as well. So I've, I've played them for a while. They're going to be a little bit deader than brand new heads, but this is just going to be a really accurate representation of how the kit sounds properly mic'd up with the appropriate amount of muffling, all that kind of stuff. So, Rack Tom. Nice, round, even, warm. Floor top. Big, thick, tons of low ends. Awesome sounding floor top. Let's hear both toms together. kick drum. They're just such awesome sounding drums. So powerful, punchy, warm, rich. Love them. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the snares back on, and we'll just play around the kit a little bit for you. Okay guys, there you go. PDP Concept Maple Classic. Phenomenal sounding drums, as you guys can hear. Um, I use them every day. Uh, you know, again, running a, a studio, I have a lot of artists from here in Colorado and from around the country come in to uh, record and do records and singles and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of drummers out there who have really nice kits, but not necessarily everybody does. Um, even drummers who tour a lot and stuff sometimes don't have really, really high quality drums. Maybe they were on a budget or, or what have you, but um, you know, it, it's really great as a studio to have an incredibly high quality, versatile kit on hand at all times. And especially for everything that I do here, because we do a lot of different projects, whether it's working on commercial stuff or video game or whatever we're doing, it's great to be able to have a kit this high quality that can just live set up. And that I know no matter what the project calls for, you know, maybe somebody calls in and says, hey, we need an ad for a country radio station. 
boom, tune them up to country, you know, do a, maybe a harder kick beater and uh, pick the right snare and uh, sound like a great slam and country kit. Then maybe later that afternoon, we're doing a straight ahead jazz thing. You know, you can crank the kick up and get it to sound nice, tight, jazzy, uh, do the same thing to the toms and boom, you've got a pretty decent and convincing sounding jazz kit. Um, they really can do anything because PDP has done such a good job of designing the hardware on the drums and, you know, again, including really great heads right out of the box. Um, it's just, it's, it's a really, really fantastic package. So whether you're somebody who owns a studio like myself and you're looking for a really versatile set of drums, um, these are a great option or just for any drummer out there. If you like a bit more of a classic vibe, but still something that's going to be able to work in pretty much any musical situation, um, and comes at a really great price again, right around uh, eight or 900 for this particular shell pack. Um, it's, it's a phenomenal option. I really cannot endorse them highly enough. Um, they do make some other shell sizes. I went 13, 16, 22, um, just cause that was kind of the most catch all because they can go lower as well as higher. Sometimes if you have a 12 and a 14, they can do higher grade, but if you need really low, deep, uh, Tom sounds, they're not going to do quite as good of a job in the versatility department. Um, but they do also make a, an even bigger kick drum, a 24 inch kick drum, uh, which I've heard sounds great. Again, a little bit limited, um, cause it can kind of only do the 24 inch kick thing, but the 22 is a really good balance. Um, of being able to go low, go high, go medium, um, all that kind of stuff. They do also make kind of a jazz version of this kit with a 12 and 14 inch toms and an 18 inch kick. Um, kind of no matter what direction you go, you know you're getting really good quality shells because PDP means DW and DW means great quality drums. So what do you guys think? Have you played PDP stuff in the past, this kit specifically, or any of PDP's other kits? I know they make a ton of different options um, at different price points for different drummers. Um, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Whatever opinions you, got, you guys might have on PDP or these drums specifically or any other drums they make, we'd love to hear what you think. Um, again, my name is Alex Scott with ConcertDini.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of our gear reviews. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.